Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video today, I'm going to show you guys how to build the doghouse and all of these signs around it in the sugarcane farm. If this is your first time clicking on one of my tutorial series videos, there will be a playlist down below where I have put the other tutorials. This is actually part 3 in the series and if you want to build the entire Dream SMP, then go ahead and check me out. And also subscribe while you're at it, join the Discord, it's a cool community of people and I think you're going to really enjoy it. So anyways, let's get straight into the tutorial because we are going to do quite a bit today. Alrighty everybody, so we are in the tutorial world. In the last video we can see we did Sapnap's house. We did some of these fences and we built Sapnap's house, including his basement down there, if you can see that. And uh, yeah, we have the whole house, so let's continue. In today's video we are going to do all of this area, so all of that, and the sugarcane farm. So we have a lot of work to do, <clears throat> and we should get started. So, over here, <clears throat> we're going to start by building the community to-do board which was made a long time ago and then they just never updated it so we're going to need some jungle planks just like so and then we're going to need some signs and torches and birch planks so let's let me get all of this oak sign spruce signs okay so it's going over here by the weed farm and what we're going to want to do we want you to skip over here 14 blocks and on the 15th and 16th block place jungle planks this counts as one right here where we have these two extras this is one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Just like that. Okay. So now what we want to do, we want to make this a total of four blocks long. So this is one, two, three, four. <clears throat> Just like that. And you can see where this lines up. It kind of lines up right there in the water. I don't know if that helps or not, but that's where it should be. And then over here, we're going to place one here and here on the third block out. <clears throat> then from there, on this fourth one, we're going to go up three, just like that. So stacking it on top of the ones in the water. Then we're going to add three on either side here. But you can see it's floating above the water. There's not ones under here like that. So it's floating. So you have this. And then just add two more on either side, just like that. And that is the exact shape that it makes. All right, we're going to add torches on either side. And now to add all of the boring signs. I'm actually going to do the signs outside of this, and then I will be right back when the signs are done. Alright everybody, and I have all of these signs right here, so I will read through them, and also just to tell you guys, all of the all of the proper pronunciation, the spelling, and the capitalized words, this is all correct, this is the way it is, so don't worry, I everything is the way it should be. So, up here at the top, we have the word community to do, the community to do board. Uh, so, you're going to want to fill the top with all of these, and this just cover it across the entire thing. So, just as many as you can fit on there, that's how many you do the little dashes, and then on the second line, community in all caps, the same thing here, and then to do in all caps, and there's spaces between that dash there. Uh, over here, we have finish house, finish dog house, finish lake, finish nether hub, and all of these words are pretty much capitalized for whatever reason. Then we have courthouse, jail, hall of fame, finish tree house, then we have the auto, animal farm, mob farm, find fortress, gladiator arena, and just all of these words are capitalized except for the word of, of hall of fame. Down here we have a little spruce sign that was added later, improved strip mine out of spruce. We have treehouse, volcano portal, which I guess the portal is supposed to be themed after a volcano, I didn't know. Uh, we have more iron, the north, yeah, this is, this is a little catch. It says north, south, east, and west, which is weird, because normally you'd say northeast, southwest, but whatever. And then you have decorate chew do board, like that. And then there's no space between chew and chew do, on the, in between the dashes. So that is what that sign looks like. Uh, before we go any further, I want to add some torches to this path. So first of all, there is a torch right there, off of the path. Then on the spruce right there, there is a torch. And then from this water, this block right here, we want to count one, two, three, four, five, and put one right there. Then we want to get out our birch planks. There's a little bit of the floor broken here. So right where the spruce is in front of this torch, go over another one. And then these two get broken out with uh, birch. And then this spruce right here is also birch. So that little area is planks as well, and then we already have the torches over here. So we are all good over there. Um, we need to add a little chest, which is sitting here. And then this chest, well, okay, well, we'll actually we'll add the chest in a little bit, because it helps. Next thing we are going to do, we are going to build the entire doghouse. So yes, let's get hyped for that. So we are going to need dark oak mostly, and then we need a little bit of spruce materials. We need spruce stairs, spruce slab, and then I think maybe spruce fence. Um, yeah, spruce fence, and then we need a tripwire hook for some reason. 
And then, oh, I just realized, no, 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 no. It's Dark Oak Fence. And then, uh, let's see, what do we need? Let's get that chest back. We can put that chest on the path. And some torches, and then let's get some... Let's get a wand out, because I will world edit it, but you can place it if you want. So, okay, we're going to build a doghouse. And it actually lines up exactly with this to-do path, which was on block 15 and 16. So, yes, across from here, we're going to place one, two, three, three, a two by three right next to each other with dark oak logs facing this direction. And it's directly in line with that. We're going to get out the planks, and we're going to put three next to it on either side like this. There we go. And then with the dark oak log, we're going to temporarily place blocks underneath this and then stack up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and get rid of that. This doesn't actually go down to the water. So it looks like that. And then real quick details, there's torches on that and a trip wire hook right there. So we're done with that. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put stairs going up like this. So this is sort of the path walking up into it. And uh, while we're out here, I'm just gonna add the chest goes right there along the path so I can now be done with the tripwire and the chest and stuff okay so let's see we're gonna add spruce stairs going up like that spruce stairs going sideways like this and then slabs on top of this and there's more slabs down here but we'll add those in a second okay now that we have this entrance way we can go ahead and continue this build so what we're gonna want to do is grab our dark oak planks and go one two three four behind it just like this and then we want to add four on either side. One, two, three, four. And one, two, two, three, four. Okay. And then what we want to do is make this a big 12 by 12 box. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I'm going to fill this all in as the floor. Uh, but of course, if you don't have world edit, <clears throat> you can just pause the video. Not a big deal and get that filled in. So now that we have this giant platform, we can add walls to it. That's how a room works. <laughs> So the walls around this are going to be four blocks tall, so we want to add one, two, three, four, and again, I'm going to use world edit, if you don't have world edit, same thing. Uh, so walls, dark oak planks, boom, just like this, and this is what the front should look like now. <clears throat> so we want to dig out our doorway, of course, so we want to go one, and dig out a two by two right there, and then dig out the two on top of it, just like that. So now we can add some of our details in the front here. So on either corner, get your dark oak logs and you want to knock out the corner here and then knock out two more or one more on either side. So it's like that. And then place your dark oak planks. And in this corner, it should line up in place over these two blocks of sand like that and bring this up to the same height of the walls. Just like so. Let's do this on the other side real quick. Boom, 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 boom. And it should line up right there. There, yeah, that's correct. Okay, good. So then we want to get our dark oak fences, and in line with the torches, we want to knock out these two and these two and put them with replace them with fences. So that is what that looks like. And last little detail in the front here: spruce slabs. I don't know why they're here, but there's two diagonal there and right there. So that is what that looks like in the front. If you need a good picture of that. Okay, so now we need to just replicate what we did in the front here on the corners on the back two sides and then there is like there's no other details there's no torches out here there's nothing oops i messed that up so yeah it's just kind of a blank area i hope you can see where these logs are lining up for reference just in case you need it now next thing we're going to do we are going to build a roof on this so we want to fill in this entire layer real quick with stone bricks set stone brick and i'll show you what it should look like so you just want to fill in the entire thing with stone bricks uh but not go don't go over the walls at all and then obviously the corners are cut out so just be like that so just a solid row of stone bricks and then what we want to do we want to get our slabs out stone brick slabs and then we want to just build in one block all the way around this thing with stone brick slabs and then fill in the middle with stone brick slabs just like that so it just looks like this I won't bother using World Edit, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. And it just stacks right on top of that. And that is pretty much the entire outside of the doghouse. So there's not a lot of interior in here, but let's go ahead and do it. So, torches in here. There's a torch <clears throat> in these back two corners and in these corners. Just like that. Um, and then if we come in one, two, a third diagonal from all of that. Over here, we want to go in line with this, but only one block away from the wall. Over here, it's in line with this one, but against the wall. 
And then over here, there's the animal pen, so we need to get out some oak fence and some oak gate. So let's see, it should be a five, one, two, three, four on the fifth one out, and on one, two, three, four on the fifth one out here. And then let's connect these across, just like that, and then bring it up a second layer, just like this. And there's a torch in the corner of that. And actually on the right here, there's two gates stacked on top of each other. And that is everything in here. There's nothing else in here. Sometimes there were signs, but as far as I know, they are no longer there. Uh, so there used to be foxes in here and dogs. If you want to add your own animals and name them whatever, go for it. Um, so <laughs> let you have your own fun doing that. So now we are going to move on to the next, the next two podiums of things that we need to build. So, let's see. First of all, what we're going to want to do... Let's let's get rid of some of these trees that are in the way, I know. <clears throat> get rid of these. Get rid of... Basically, all these trees are going to be gone anyways. Just give me some space. Give me some space to work. So... There we go. That should do. So, we're going to build the... Sort of like we built over there. We're building another one over here. <clears throat> so, when you're looking at this area, right where we have these two notches... Put one here and here. It lines up right with that. So the coordinate for this spot is uh, 247, negative 194, just like that. And then it's just the same thing. So go up two, diagonal two, and then across three. Do the same thing on the other side, just like that. <clears throat> and actually, let me get the fences back. But nope, you think you would put a gate in there, but there is no longer a gate that I know of in there. So go wrap it around, just like this. And then there's also not one up here. So normally there'd be a gate right there, and then the fence right there. But the, there's no gate, and there's no fence right there either. So that is what it looks like. But there's still a pressure plate right there from when there used to be a gate. So <clears throat> that's what's going on there. We are going to need some torches back, and let's get a crafting table. What we want to do is we want to go from this birch. We want to go one, two, three three blocks of birch in, and then right next to it, put a crafting table right there, and then let's go across from the crafting table, and then go over one, two, and put a torch right there, and then this helps us line up the next path, so we're going to get some spruce planks, and right in line with this torch, put one in line with the torch on this side by the crafting table, and then the one to the uh, to the left, so that is that, that's where that lines up, right there, and what we want to do this is a little longer than the, the to-do board, so we're actually going to go out. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So it actually is extended five. And the next thing we need to do, we need to grab out some cobblestone for that. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to put cobblestone up like this. Let's just put it on top of the spruce, so the spruce is there. And then put two on either side, and then put one on either side. So it looks just like that. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure, yes, the other one is made of stone brick. So we take the stone brick, and it lines up directly across from this. And it is one, two, three, four blocks long, and it lines up with it just like that. And it makes the exact same shape, stack it on top of here. Two, three, two, one, two, one, and boom. That is exactly what that one looks like, you can see. Um, so now we need to add some of the signs and stuff on top of it, so let, let's just go ahead and do this one right here. And also you can see that torch lines up right right there with that. So let's get out some signs. Uh, we're going to need dark oak signs for this one. And then also get out some white dye, because all of the text on these signs was hard to see. So we, you can put click apparently click a sign with white dye, and it will make the text like that. If it's different in Bedrock, um, then I don't know how to do that, but... Hopefully you can, hopefully you can figure that out. We're gonna need some leather, and then also we're going to need to get an anvil quickly. And let's go ahead and do this. We need to name the leather. We need to name it Spirit. Boom. And I don't know if this is the original Spirit or not, but I, I'm not that involved in it. So we're going to put Spirit right there. So it looks just like that, and I'm going to add all the signs real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all the signs here, and now what we're going to do, we are going to right-click them all with the die, so they are white. And now let me read you what all these signs say. So up here, we have, here lays a good friend, and then on the third line, dot, 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 so four dots, just like that. And then make sure here and lays is capitalized, and the other three are not. Uh, and then the next sign, brought dream many, many miles safely home, so there's two minis. 
And again, the first line are both capitalized and the rest is not. Down here we have RIP and there's a period between uh, the R and the I and the I and the P. Uh, down here we have, we will miss you spirit, comma, you were a great horse, and then spirit is, spirit and we are capitalized. And then over here we have sleep easy old pal and then three dots after that. So that is what all the signs say here, and then you have spirit right there. So yeah, that is, that's, that is that one complete. So if we come over here, we need to get this one in place, and I actually, uh, well, we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so... We are going to need some oak signs for this one, and there is no torches on this one or the other one. I just realized. Okay, just want to make sure. So then we need to get our item frame back, and then we need a cactus. This is apparently a memorial for. No, no, no. It's it's for Skechers, the fox, because the fox died. I'm pretty sure. So this is where I need your help. I know what these three signs say down here. I know what these three say, but the two up here, I don't know what they say. I could not, for the life of me, get a good shot or find what Vod that was from so i'm gonna leave these two blank but these three down here let me do real quick okay so the signs right here we have the cactus right here these two i still don't know what they say uh but right here we have the r.i.p uh and then down here we have i will miss you sketchers period i hope i gave you a good life period and then over here it says please please rest in peace old pal just like that and then there's three dots after pal so yeah it looks just like that i assume I, it's sim similar to this, like, here lays a good friend, you know, brought, like, sap nap, good joy, or something. That's just what I assume it says, um, but I can't confirm what those signs actually look like. So, for now, I'm just going to have to leave it like that. I I don't know what they look like, um, but hopefully in the future, I will get to figure that out. So, let's come over here, and we're going, last thing we're going to do for this video, we're going to build the sugarcane farm. And let me get rid of this anvil, because that is not supposed to actually be there. Uh, let's see, and there's one more torch actually on this path that I need to get you, or two more torches, I think. So we're looking at it like this, and, oh yeah, okay, so when you're from this thing, we want to, on this bird show, we want to go one, two, three, four, five, and then there's another one right there, and then sort of go diagonal to this oak, and go one, two, three, and on the fourth one here, go up one, and it's on that spruce. And those are the other two torches on that path. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I got to all of the torches, the torch placements, because I'm trying to get that as well. All right, so let's start working on this area. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start the path going up to, uh, what is it, Eretz Rainbow Castle. But we're not going to do the entire thing. So let me get some slabs out and some blocks. So right where we have these three blocks, what we want to do is make this a total of six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So just like that send this so it, it should line up right and hit this train so then we knock out these three oops that back I right, knock out these three and put slabs right there and then the path will just keep going off that way but I just wanted to get the first step up into Eric's little castle right there so next we can do some of this terrain right here so we knock out that grass so it should go three and then two and then go back one so we need to get rid of all of this also these blocks are really loud let me turn that down jeez okay so it should go diagonal one two three and then we can flatten it off there for now so all of this can get dug out past that so that's what that train looks like and i think it keeps going but i can't get a good shot of that right at this right at this moment okay so we're gonna get our fences out and then you know over here it connects right there and then goes two three four five and then back two three and then back two uh, but we're not worried about that because also this does change a little bit and the sand gets dug out so i will worry about that in a future one so next what we want to do we want to come over here and go next to this one and go one two and then we want to go one two three four five six seven eight is that eight one two three four five six seven yeah eight okay eight across just like that and then also while i'm looking at it we need to put a grass block so you see where we have these two we go to the one right here, and then go one, two, three, boom, on the fourth one. We can also get rid of all that grass. And there's just a random grass block here. Because actually, funny story, I think it was Ponk, maybe? Like, I don't know, there was some big explosion here that happened. So next, details on this thing. We need to get scaffolding. We need to get item frames. And we need pink wool. I know, really weird. So up here at the top, item frame with a piece of pink wool in it. I don't know why it's there, it's just there. And we want to put three scaffolding there, 
and three scaffolding there. And boom, that is what this archery looks like. I guess it's just more stylistic, I don't know. Alright, so now we need to start the sugarcane farm. Yay! Alright, so the sugarcane farm. When you're looking over like this, we have this row of eight. And there's some terraforming we need to do here. So we want to place a sand block right next to it. And then we're going to put a torch right there. And then this row of sand that we have here. Let's like go diagonal from this and drag a row of sand connecting to that. And then keep it going until we hit that grass right there. Next thing we're going to want to do, we're going to get fences out. And where we have this fence, we need to make this a total of nine. So that's one two three four five six seven eight nine and actually make this two blocks tall just like that so next thing we're gonna get rid of these three spruce trees because they will be in my way in my way freaking trees all right perfect and then we can also dig out some of that because i know that's not there and some of these spruce trees just to make it a little easier on myself we'll just get rid of that one why not okay so next thing we're gonna do we're actually going to go along the back of this just like so so right where we had this ninth one we're going to take this all the way across and this should line up yep with the back of here and while i'm here this one gets broken out this one gets broken out and there's a torch on top of that just in case you wanted that i don't know and also uh let's go ahead and finish the train back here so we have these three diagonals we want another diagonal another diagonal and then it goes back to, or sorry, sorry, it goes, yeah, that diagonal, hang on, let me just get rid of all of this, I'll figure it out in a second, so these two, these two, that one there, okay, so, let me show you what I just did, so you have those two, and then you want one, two, three, four diagonals back, and it goes over two, and then back two, and then these two, and then it goes back into natural terrain, just like that, and then there is a torch right there, and then we get rid of these trees, of course, there's, like, no trees in this area at all. But, you know, we're still on the natural world. Um, so, boom, and you. Perfect. So, we can we can get rid of these another time, but, you know, just for now. Helps clear the area. So, that's what this train looks like now, and these fences. So, let's finish up this area. So, we keep taking these fences, keep going down until we are until we are right here, where it starts to merge off that way. But we flatten it out right here. Just like that. And then this whole row of fences needs to be a second block tall. And in case you don't you don't have the seat or anything, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. This is 21 fences long in the back here. Okay, so, and then these last two, we're actually going to stack up an extra block just like that for some reason. I don't know. Okay, so let's come across here, and then, um, let's see, we need to knock out this bit of grass, but keep it flat here with the edge of this fence. So let's build another row up just like that, and then we need to add three more, stack it up just like so. Oops, no. So it looks like this. Then skip this row, and then do one, two, three more up here, and then we need to do one, two, three down here. And make this all the way up to its proper height. So it, it pretty much just follows the edge of the train. Not a big deal. And we can actually knock that one out. And that is what this area looks like. And then the fence will start going back and follow the train. But obviously we need to adjust this area a lot. Um, so yeah, we have all what this looks like. Now we can add the rows of sugar cane. So let me get out some water. And we need to get out some sugar cane. To let this all grow. And then let's get some sand to adjust this or more grass really but yes yeah, so right where we have this one water block we want to dig all this out so it's a full row just like this but not not on this block here this row is, is all grass and we want to skip two blocks knock out another row for more grass boom there we go we can get rid of that grass it's unnecessary i guess Okay, and then what we need to do, skip one row, and knock out more. Er, wait, eh, yes, skip one row, and knock out more. One block away. Oops, not there. So it looks like that. So you think that this would be over one block, but no, it's not. <laughs> it's just like this, which is mildly infuriating. 
Okay, so what we want to do, we need to plant it all along this front here. Just like this. And then place it basically just everywhere around the water. It, it, the sugar cane goes everywhere around the water. Except for where this one porch block is. And right here. Loop it around this. And on the edges here. And all along here. And right there. So there's just a there's just one full row of edge that is not even in use or anything, which I don't understand why, but that's just how it is. And that is the sugarcane farm done, and that is actually going to conclude it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. And if you're building these, go ahead and join the Discord and send me a picture. I might give you guys some shouts shoutouts in the next video for everyone that's actually following along with the tutorials. So thank you guys so much. And uh, next part, I think we might I don't know. I think we'll build the watchtower. Or maybe we'll do the nether portal, Alyssa's house, uh, maybe do the courthouse. I don't know, you guys just let me know what do you want to see next. And yes, we will start heading off that way and do the prime path. Ooh, the prime path. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in part four.